and action. I think everyone's formative period is their teenage years. For me, it was the late 70s and early 80s. The music of that period, the movies of that period. I've always looked for a way to try to address that time. That was my time. Even though I don't feature in the movie as a character, those memories are very personal. It's 1981 which involves a, quite a lot of 1970s leftovers. So there's some fantastic costumes wandering around. Big hair. Don't you look absolutely glorious? Very. So I had a Zoom during lockdown with Sam. He said, I'm thinking of writing this film and I'm thinking of you to play a part in it. And I said, yes, please. And turns out the script was really good. I thought it had real life to it. It felt truthful. And the writing really transports you into the era of the piece. Wow, what a place. It really was beautiful. Yes, it is. Sam's directing style, he's, he's, he can communicate very, very well, which I love. It makes it so much easier as an actor to not be thinking about so much things that a director is saying. Thank you, that's all, that's all I wanted to say. <laughs> He is so emotionally engaged. He knows exactly what to say so that you understand what he wants. If it's sad, he's crying. If it's funny, he giggles behind the monitor. It goes without saying that he's, he's just able to notate actors in ways that are always useful and sensitive to what the actor is trying to do. The main character is Hilary. She's living with mental health issues. Growing up around my mother, who was disintegrating mentally was something, I suppose, that formed me. And a lot of those memories have gone into the way that we render Hillary. It's a very warm portrait of a woman, you know, who is really a lost soul, but finds a strange family within the cinema. She has been embraced by this eccentric bunch. That... <laughs> Thank goodness you're here because I need some of this cake! <laughs> Everyone that I've been able to work with closely has been incredible and we're all just on a journey. Just learnt so much from each and every one of them in different ways. Just sit in the middle of a bunch of people who don't know you, who've never met you, who can't even see you. you know, I've spent most of my adult professional life sitting in dark auditoria of various kinds. This is my home, you know, and then sitting alone as an audience member, losing myself. That little beam of light is escape. You know, I believe that. What? Show me a film. I want to see a film. It's a romance about a love of one character for another. It's a romance about a love of this particular world, about the beauty of the idea of cinema. It's not the size of the screen so much. It's whether you get a jump scare at the same time as 200 other people, or whether you cry at the same time as 200 people. If we're not going out and congregating, there's probably a commonality that we're depriving ourselves of. I hope people come and see this film in that spirit. Look around you. This whole place is for people who want to escape. People who don't belong anywhere else. How do you feel? I do feel a bit numb, I suppose. The world is changing. Wow. You can't reverse it. Another world. Happy New Year! You can't just give up. Don't let them tell you what you can or can't do. All these people. I'm the only one who knows the truth, do you understand me? I'm the only one! Hillary, please open the door. Here's to the future. Walking those old scenes. Here's to getting back up. And here's to coming home. <laughs> <laughs>